Hey K2, it's Miss Jameson back with another book for you. This week we're learning all about pushes and pulls. So can you brain match with me if you remember learning about pushes and pulls when we were at school? Mm -hmm. We didn't get too far, but so we're going to do a little bit more today. Um, try it with me. Do you remember what a push looks like? Push and then pull into you. Push is moving something away from you. Pull is moving something toward you. So the book that we're going to read today is called Newton and Me. And it is all about a boy who notices all kinds of pushes and pulls when he's playing with his dog, Newton. Even Newton can learn to push and pull, not just the boys. So wait till you see all the different pushes and pulls they learn about together. While I read, every time you hear me talk about a push, you can show push. And every time you hear me talk about a pull, you can show a pull. So you can practice that while I'm reading. When you hear a push, push. When you hear a pull, pull. All right, I can't wait to read this to you. Let me get it up on the screen. Okay, here we go. Oh, no, that's not it. Hold on. There it is. Awesome. Okay, so, um, I think you're really going to like this book. Let me get started. And it's on Epic, so you can find it again on Epic if you would like to reread it on your own. It's called Newton and Me. Sometimes I say Newton, sometimes I say Newton, but they're both right. Saturday morning, I was asleep in my bed when Newton, my dog, dropped his ball on my head. Ouch. I pulled on my t-shirt, Oh, nope, I pulled on my blue jeans, t-shirt, and shoes, and ate a quick breakfast while Dad read the news. Then Newton and I ran out the back door. We had the whole day to play and explore. I rolled Newton's ball to him along the ground. Hmm, push or pull, if you roll it. Yeah, there's our first push. As we played with the ball, here's what we found. The ball won't roll far in the rough grassy yard. It rolls much farther on a surface that's smooth and hard. But it won't roll at all if I don't give it a push. When I push too hard, it rolled as far as the bush. Oh, there it goes. It rolled into the bush. I decided to throw the ball up in the sky. I threw the ball hard. It went really high. No matter how hard I would throw the ball up, it would always come down to me and my pup. This gave me an idea I wanted to test. I took out the red truck that I like the best. I put down the truck on ground that was flat. Until I would push, my truck stayed where it sat. Hmm, it's not moving yet. Let's see what happens. Going downhill, my truck really speeds. It went off the sidewalk and up into the weeds. Whoops. When I pushed my toy truck, it went really far. But even my big push won't move my dad's car. Oh my gosh, can you imagine if you could push a car? That would be, you would be really strong. I heard my mom calling for Newton and me. She wanted some rocks from a pile by the tree. We pulled my red wagon to the tree at a run. Newton and I knew this job would be fun. I filled up my wagon with piles of stone, but with all of the rocks, I couldn't pull it alone. Ooh, so now we're doing pulling. How's he gonna pull it if it's so heavy? Let's find out. When it was empty, it was easy to pull. I just couldn't move it when it was full. Newton and I got some help from my dad. He pushed while I pulled. We made my mom glad. Oh, that was good teamwork. Then Newton and I decided to go for a ride. I hopped on my bike with my dog by my side. The wind was blowing quite hard that day. The wind at my back pushed me on my way. Have you ever felt the wind push you? I for sure have. But when I turned around to go home at last, the wind pushed at my chest and I couldn't go as fast. 
Pedaling uphill was really hard too. Getting to the top took all I could do. Was it harder for him to pedal up the hill? Or do you think down the hill? But going downhill, I needed to slow down. I did that by dragging my feet on the ground. It was a lot easier to go down the hill, huh? When I got home, we played tug of war. I pulled, Newton pulled, and then I pulled some more. When he pulled as hard as I did, we didn't move at all. But when he pulled harder, well, I'd step forward or fall. If you've ever played tug of war, I bet you know what this is talking about. You could try practice um, playing it with somebody at home. Try pulling on the same thing from two different sides and see what happens. I realized at the end of the day that I learned some new things along the way. Playing with Newton gave me the notion that pushing and pulling are forces of motion. So remember, pulling and pushing are forces, and motion means moving. Good. And that's the end of the story. So you did a great job listening to that. And if you want to listen to the story again, you can go back to the beginning of the video and listen again. But if you think you're ready to do an activity, I want you, as soon as this video is over, to get a piece of paper and something to write with. I want you to draw your favorite push from the book that the boy and Newton did and your favorite pull from the book that Newton did. So it could be pushing and pulling the wagon. It could be pushing the ball up into the air. It could be pulling uh, your feet on the ground to help you stop faster on the bike. Uh, I want you to pick whichever ones you want to draw. So please draw one push, one pull, and then have your parents or somebody at home take a picture of it and send it to me, Miss Von Ley, or Miss Redmond, whoever's your teacher. Great job listening today and good job showing me those pushes and pulls. That's really good practice. I hope you had fun listening to the book and I hope you have fun going and drawing your pushes and pulls. I miss you guys tons and I'll talk to you soon. Bye K2.